Hi guys. Uh, this is a video I decided to make just to explain Phantom and I hope you guys will get a lot of knowledge for my explanation for my video and I hope it will help you a lot. And I decided to make this video uh, because when I got my Phantom I got it about last month and I did search you know up and down left right center on the internet just for a lot of information and how to put the stuff together, how to work with it, or you know what to expect. I didn't get a lot of information. There's a lot of videos scattered out there, so you really need to do a lot of searching, right? And I have to say, um, Peter James, thank you very much. Your video was so helpful, right? Um, you guys need to check him out. Um, he did about, um, if not 25 to 25 minutes explanation um, on, on this. And uh, I have to say, yeah, his video was very helpful. So thank you, James. Um, thank you very much. I think you guys should subscribe to his channel as well. He has some few, I think he's a photographer and he has some few um, helpful explanation on, on, on the Phantom. Anyway, so let's get to this. Um, um, so what you get in your Phantom when you get them or what I got when I got them. Um, so this is what I got. Um, first of all, this, this huge box did not come with it so don't be very hopeful no I bought this differently you know extra it's an extra thing I bought it's a it's it's a HPLC which um, it's high performance resin cases right it's an Italian made product uh, this is an HPLC 2700 that's 2700 right it's a thick box right you see inside it comes uh, with the foam and everything prepared for, for the Phantom, right? So, um, I think it's very advisable for you to get one. For those of you who will be traveling with your Phantom, we all understand that each time we check um, in our, our baggages or whatever we we're flying with, sometimes this airline, that's if you get your baggages back, sometimes they don't come back alive you know whatever you have in there they don't come back alive when i mean alive you know what i mean um you don't get them the way you handed them in you know because you know the way that these guys they just throw these bags and those of you who sat in the window seat um probably have seen it when they're you know um <clears throat> getting your bags out of the the, the airline and when they're putting it they just you know like flip them like that and uh, so sometimes depends on the kind of bag you have they don't survive it so this is a very good um, case for that so it's uh, it's actually prepared for such you know impact so our advice you guys is huge you cannot check this in right uh, so you can only check this in you can you can carry it in as a hand carrier to the flight so um, yeah but if you want to check it in this is the right bag for you um, the right case for you it's thick it's advisable it's about 300 bucks okay it depends on what you're buying it and uh, so it's come it's uh it's i think it's worth the 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 price if you if you ask me anyway anyway so um so yeah that's it it's uh like i said it's prepared for it so what what do you get when you're unboxing your phantom you get this one which is the phantom himself um you see that um yeah that's the boy you know that's the guy himself i'm gonna call it that one and you get these blades right these blades come with them i'll just explain this to you um yeah so this gimbal i bought them differently you know this, this the thing about phantom i think you need to buy a lot of parts you know you need to buy a lot of stuff to actually bring it completely together so you know this gimbal yeah i bought i bought it extra i ordered it extra uh, you can also order from the from from the people you're buying it from if you're buying it from a website if you're buying it directly or you're buying it from a dealer usually they recommend the you know gimbal there are other gimbals out there you know there are other products out there you know but this is the one that actually appealed to me well i probably will, will check in some other ones out you know probably if i use this one if i'm not satisfied with it i've started using it um I've been seeing a lot of um, good and bad in it. Um, think I think they should improve in them. Um, I will do the I will explain that later. But now let's just stick to the basic stuff, which is the gimbal. Um, you know, and obviously you need a, a camera, uh, which is a GoPro. This is a GoPro here. I said, yeah. So yeah, like I said, yeah. I don't have the GoPro yet. The, the GoPro four. So this is what I have. So this one I'm working with. Um, um, yeah. Okay. Um, what else? You know. Yeah. This is. Uh, this is the 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 power 
it can come off you know you need to put it pull it a little bit harder yeah that's it that's the power it comes off it comes with one 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 battery and, and they are smart ones so you can always check the power by pushing that that button you know how how much power you have left so yeah it comes with that one put it back in so my advice for you guys it's you might want to buy extra batteries right because you're, you only have about 17 to 20 minute flight mode. So I got myself extra as well. So I think I'll, I need to buy me one or two more. So you, you might, you might want to look into that because 17 minutes to 20 minutes flight mode, it's a lot at the same time. It's not a lot, depending on what you want to do. So yeah, then the next thing you get this, this stuff, right? I'll tell you what they are for. Probably a lot of you know what they are for. Um, it's, it goes in here, right? So it's like a protector for the blades. So when 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 you have like impact you know, against the wall, against anything, you know, it protects the blades. I don't have them on, you know, because you need to unscrew those stuff. There's a lot of unscrewing and screwing back in, in, in Phantom. So, and what's, what's the result for not having them on? I've crashed my Phantom about three times, right? What happened? This is the result broken blades i got myself a few extra blades and i'm glad i did so my advice to you guys get extra blades they are plastic but it could break so yeah i already broke four of them right you see there all broken this one this one not but this one all broken so yeah so i need to get extra ones as well um you know they're about 12 bucks i think so you know about 12 12 depends on where you live. 12 euros, 12 dollars. They are you know, the figures are almost the same. Just the the the, the exchange rates. Uh, yeah, depends on. So yeah, you get that one. You get that one. So what else do you get? You get the stickers. They're all stickers. Then <clears throat> you get your charger, all right? So the charger comes in different um, like fuse. I'll show you guys the fuse. Just hang on. This sticker thing is just coming out. You go back here, boy. So it comes with different fuels. Let me just get on my. Um, I'll show you those fuels right there. Okay, yeah, they are. So it comes with different fuels. Depends on where on where you live. You know, if you live in the U.S., this is what you get. You know, they they at Phantom they had that in mind. So they package different fuels for different people so you don't have to buy anything extra well you still have to do a lot of buy extra things but this one you don't have to so you just have different one it depends on where you live so you get those ones so yeah and this one you know that's the mouth you just open there and it's easy stuff i'll close the stuff that's this one is b uh so it goes by the side that way i don't know if you guys could see from that far you know you just slot it in there that's it and you plug it in and that's it you know it comes up blah 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 yeah so that's excuse me yeah then <clears throat> it come then you have this little plastics as well so this um you need a gimbal like i told you that extra one so this one is for the gimbal you get that you know so it comes you have three different ones you have the white one you have this one and you have this one, right? So this is um, 50, 40, 48, right? So the difference are the, the, the thickness. So this is thicker. This is obviously 50 is thicker than 40, you know? And 48 and 40, the difference is 40 is a little bit thicker. Um, 48 is a little bit thicker than 40. This is very light. So the body A, you know, is like your iPhone, for iPhone S, there's not a little different, probably camera. So, but anyway, it's just the same. So you have this. So what? 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 What does this work? This is it. I don't know if you can see from that distance. You know, it sits. It connects like you know the gimbal himself to the plates on on the Phantom, right? So yeah, and just another stuff. I'll show you. I'll just get it out of this bag, so you can see. It's this pin. So what this pin works for is you put it in here. It goes in here, right? And just to hold the plastic, the gimbal, 
and and the plates on on the phantom so it just like it's it's it connects everything together but there's there's a problem with this with this pin you know with this pin you see the gimbal goes like this right so but if you put this pin because the pin is so you know it stretches all the way out so you know it comes in the way so the gimbal would not go all the way back and forth to the end you know so what it does is it just blocks it so a lot of people you know you just, they, come, they come with creative ideas some people chop them off why i think i'm in the category of people who got this plastic this little plastic right so what did i do i just put it in there and clipped it and i chopped the other side off so the gopro goes all the way with no obstruction you see that okay good um and yeah so what next so it comes with a, the few screws like that one you all find them you see them you know because you need those screws as well to to put those stuff all together in so and it comes with uh with 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 a little bit of i'll just show you hang on i think i have it in here oh. um yeah it comes with this one and this one just to work to work with the screws right yeah so it comes with those two yeah and what next you get stickers you get about a few stickers one for here and one for that you get the red or the blue one and i just have the little stickers on the phantom i don't know if you guys can see from there that's it okay and at the back of here there's a usb port just so you know for any updates you know for any feature update from phantom so that's what you get then you get that's a usb cable you see it's a usb cable uh, okay so uh what 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 are, what are the things you need to buy extra hang on let me just get my little notes the things you need to buy extra i bought this um i bought this iosd mini right um and what's the function of this iosd mini what ios d mini does is okay it takes information your flight information and sends it back to your monitor right that's what it does you know um i think that's gonna come in handy depends on where you live right that's gonna come in handy uh because you need all over that information because like i said phantom is uh there's a lot of there's a lot of um back and forth with the rules would i say laws governing phantom because it's something it's not actually new it's just something that you know that you know to the front of the agenda and uh, there's a lot of people buying more phantom now it's it's going mainstream so there's a lot of attention to it so now so a lot of people or a lot of countries are trying to pass a, a law governing that so what are the basic laws the basic laws which is um stay as far as you can from the airport okay and don't fly above 400 meters from the ground that's to, that's the basic one and stay away from the city from where you know a lot of people are crowded stay away from that so those are the basic stuff and i advise you to stick to that i think that works in every country every country so but you know the eu right now they are still you know working on a uh, a universal law for the for the eu region so but basically every other eu country have got their own specific specific law guiding this whole thing so you might want to check that out before you fly in any country that would be advisable okay but if you have no idea but just stick to the basic ones which is stay away from fly away from the airport don't fly above 400 meters from the ground and stay away from the city except you know what you're doing you go into the city except you you know you have a good skill flying skills you can you know but advice stay away from that if you're just if you're just getting you know getting your hand into the phantom you know because i know a lot of a lot of us can get so excited and we just forget what we need to do anyway so let's stick back to to the to the to what we're doing today yeah basically that's it and what next this is uh you probably you need this this is the remote control okay uh it comes with it and yeah basically i think that's it okay um so putting this whole thing together now um the basic stuff which is this the blades you know the, the blades himself uh, it's not like you don't have to screw anything in. you just like you know it doesn't come with anything you just 
put it there and you will spin it, it goes back. So let me uh, get this off so you can see what I mean. You see that? It just comes off that way. And to put it back, you just, and, and, that's, and that's it, that's nothing more to it. You know, there's just no, nothing more to it. That's how you put it back, that's how you put it in, that's how you put it back. So let's get it off so I can explain something to you. You know, um, this silver head, right? The silver head goes on, on this one. Right? It's, it's a silver head like that. So the silver head goes on that one. You know, you just screw that and and that's it. And let um, me hang on. Uh, oh, let me just do this one. Yeah. And the black head, you know, the dark one goes you look at you pay attention to it there's like a dot on this one let me just show you to see on the dots on the one you know the black head goes on the black dot right so you just spin it you just spin it and that's it that's it there's 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 nothing more to it because if you try to put a black head on the silver head and you spin it it wouldn't you know it wouldn't fit in it would just tell you to just go like blah 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 just bubble out place so that's just basically putting it in and taking it off okay um yeah basically that's it and um, okay I, I did explain this already so like i said to put this on you need to screw them i think you need to get a longer screw and one more and there's one thing okay i don't know i think phantom um they need to pay attention to that this little screw here it takes a while to get it off it's so little it's 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 very problematic to get a screwdriver to get this thing off. Yeah, it's a lot of people have problem with it. Sometimes it wears off by the time you try to do it. I did. Get, I did finally get one. Right, I got one, and it's it it it, it, it is hard to get. It is hard to get. So um, yeah, you need to take this thing off because to connect this whole thing together because there's a lot of connection that goes. And on those of you who are not like you know te technically savvy. It will scare you at first when you when you get this whole stuff because you all stuff that you know apart, so you need to bring bring them together. It will scare you. It did scare me first, uh, you know. But at the end of the day, you find out that well, it's not that difficult the way it looks. So just relax, okay? You you will survive. You get over everything. Um. So you you need to get this whole screw out, and you get what this this one, this one, this one, and this one. So four, one, two, three, four in each. In each side of them, so you just get the all of them out, okay? Like the sixteen of them, and you take this the top off, okay? Because to connect um, the gimbal, to connect the gimbal, you need to take that off, right? To connect the gimbal. Anyway, um, the gimbal as well is easy to connect. You know, like I did explain to you guys what this works for. Um, it's just to to hold it together. Because the pain that it comes with stays in the way. Anyway, and what next is um, there's it comes with, there's this cable that actually two cables that are prepared for this. This one goes into the gimbal, and this other one is for the monitor, right? For those of you who are going to buy uh, a monitor, and um, and the other one, this one here is for the transmitter. So you see that transmitter. So um, that's it for. I don't have my transmitter now and I don't have my monitor I should get that any moment from now and as soon as I get that I'm gonna make a video to explain that so let's just stick to the basic things I have and to the knowledge I have because that's the only knowledge I can share now okay um, yeah so what next and there's one more thing when you mount your gimbal don't ever turn the phantom on if you don't have your GoPro sitting in there no because it could burn the plate off it could burn it off because it makes this very awful noise. Sometimes you think uh, if you've done something wrong. No, you've not done anything wrong. The only thing you've done wrong is that by not putting a fan, um, the GoPro, you know, by not mounting the GoPro there. Because yeah, it could burn it off easily. So I made that mistake myself. You know, try not to make that mistake, okay? Um, yeah, so, and there's this, there's this, um, this plastic, you know, you see that goes all the way from up to down. What it does is just hold the um, GoPro while he's sitting there, just holds it tight. Okay, so what next? Um, turning on the phantom, okay? 
um, to turn the front door on, okay, you need to push this button first to see the, the power you've got. You see that one? Then you push it the second time, then you wait for a few minutes, then you push and hold. Like that, it comes up. You see, as soon as it comes up, the, the gimbal struggles himself. Okay, it just, you know, just to get the position. Um, there's, there's one thing as well, I'm sorry, I, that's my part. Always turn this on first before you turn this on, right? This comes on first before this on, you know, I, that it is sometimes we do, we do forget the stuff, but just make sure, try to put that in mind, okay? So anyway, to get your phantom flying, there are basic things you need to do. You see this button here on the right side, you need to push it about eight times, a little bit quicker, like eight to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You see the lights? Let me put it this way so you can see. You see that the light is now stable. So what, what next do you do, right? You get your front top up this direction, then you go 360 degree, like that. You see, the light is now green. You do the same thing, but in this direction, then 360 degree. There, you see the light changes. Now your phantom is ready to fly. Okay. To fly your phantom, what do you do? You see these two buttons here, these two joysticks. They come down, like, you see, down. So your phantom is ready to fly. You see that? So this button, the one on the, on the left, if you push it up, your phantom goes up, right? If you push it up, your phantom goes up. Then the, the, one, the one on the left takes it up, like it's accelerated to lift from the ground. The, the other one, you know, this on the right lifts it up from the ground. This one on the left controls it back for, for you know, like that. And yeah. I'll just turn it off because I'm in the closed circuit, so I don't want to fly anything. Um, just to make sure, just to make sure, I'll just put my hands here in case um, anything goes wrong. You see? Okay. So that's it. Okay. And the next thing is, remember, we did, this needs to come on first before this, right? But if you want to turn it off, it's the, it's the other way. This needs to go off. This, this goes off first before this one. So to shut it off, how do you do it? It's the same way. You push this one first, then push and hold. That's it. That's it. That's nothing more. And, and this one, the other direction. It's as easy as that. Um, there was this one other thing. This button out here is to control the gimbal. To take it up or down, up or down. You know the gimbal goes like that, up or down. Anyway, so um, yeah, basically that's it. That's for the Phantom. And like I said, um, I don't know if you guys, this 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 um, um, cable here goes into the Phantom and in, uh, into the gimbal. The other one is for, excuse me. Uh, is for the transmitter and this other one is for the for the for the monitor. I don't have those those here. As soon as I get them, I'll I'll work with them and I'll make my next video with that one. Okay, uh, what's the next point? Um, okay, what else do you need? Now now that I don't have my monitor, I'm working with my iPad. Okay, and there's an application for that already. I'm definitely a lot of you know that you can always get that on 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 the App Store. Um, for those of you using iPad. So my iPad is what I'm working with now. Okay, um, with my iPad, my iPad is my monitor. So I use, I fly with my, you know, monitor my flight with my iPad. That's what I use, uh, which is, is also a good. So, but the only the problem at the moment is, uh, we all understand that GoPro sends um, a few seconds late. So um, yeah, sometimes it's, it's a problem, you know. So, but the, 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 with the monitor and the iOS the mini, you know, you could, you could resolve that problem. But anyway, let's, let's move forward. So my, my next point, um, yeah, let me, so to explain something, <clears throat> it's the thing about GoPro, right? GoPro works, um, um, Phantom, I beg your pardon, 
the phantom um the gps he has got the gps which is um which is this one remember the gps is on this the right hand side it goes up right what that gps does it suspends the phantom when it flies right it's suspended right now that's it you could just you know without doing anything put in your hand and the phantom just suspends there and waits for you and like okay what next should i do i'm waiting for the next instruction like like a you know an obedient um genie waiting for the aladdin to tell him what next he wants him to do he wants him to go back he wants him to go forward he wants him to go left he wants him to go right so that's what the gps works for and there's one thing okay there's one thing i noticed remember guys all this explanation I'm giving is out of my my knowledge I got from from crashing my phantom my phantom and you know walking with it playing with it a little bit. If you look, it's a little bit dirty because I crashed it a few times. Okay, um, when you fly in a closed circuit, what I mean by in a closed circuit in a sense like you fly in the city, right below buildings, like you know trap around buildings around you. Phantom my struggle to get connection to work with the GPS so it might not suspend it might just glide I did have problem with that I crashed my phantom for that reason and I'll explain why um, the reason why is it works with um, connections and so what, what what I what I did observe is every time I stay below buildings like you know I stay below you know in, in narrow streets those of you who've been to the EU who've been to Europe understand that Europe the unique thing about them they have these very narrow streets right if you stretch your both hands you know you could touch the both side of the street the both walls so sometimes you know two people cannot walk side by side you know side by side on the street that's how narrow they are okay so yeah i did i did fly my phantom in one of those three because i i was i was comfortable enough to fly them in one of those streets and why did i crash i crashed because i i was trying to get my my, my ipad with one hand and my 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 control um, pad with the other hand so i did take my 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 eye off the phantom so you know i was i had my head like that looking by the time i i did put my head up, back up the phantom was already gliding away close to the wall so by the time i could try to get myself you know stable i did crash it yeah so i did crash in those little streets for that reason so so what i noticed is when you're below buildings phantom struggles to get connections to work with the gps so it could suspend so it just glides you know sometimes it, it suspends you could get but it's you no know, it's like a phone network you know sometimes you don't get a good phone reception you don't hear what people say or your call don't go through so let's just look at phantom that way you know and, the, and it's gps let's just look at it that way that's how it works so but every time i stay above buildings you know like stay in an open circuit open area you know I never, I you wouldn't have that problem, you know, it's just get, you know, get good reception and it just suspends and waits for you. So when you're flying in the city, um, first, first, I hope you have a good, you know, you're, you have good knowledge about how the Phantom operates and how to handle um, your flight skills are, are, are up, to, up, to, up to date or up there to be able to maneuver into those narrow streets um, or where you have people. But if you don't have that skills yet, I think my advice to you not don't just go to open field, you know, like spaceful place where there are less people, where you can always land and fly your 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 phantom without problem, you know, without without you know getting scared to crash them into people. So that's what I'm gonna advise. Um, yeah, so that basically that's what I what I observed and. Remember as well when you're flying when 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 you're flying your phantom always Remember to stay focused always focus on your on phantom flying because um, You know, it's like you're driving your car if you take your eyes away from it a few minutes you could just um, you know Jewel out of your Your lane, which is not not good. You might think you're in the air. You know, there's not a lot of um, Thing to obstruct you but no remember phantom has got only 17 to 20 minutes flying time so you might just want to stay focused for that 17 minutes and make sure you get the best video out of it remember so yeah so basically yeah that's that's what um um i observe why flying flying the phantom so on my next video i think i probably might my elaborate on 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 the maneuver when flying direction so but today let's just stick to this one uh yeah 
anyway so so that's it guys um, I think I think I've just explained most of the basic stuff to this um, so I I remember this blade the blade you could just unscrew them or screw them in it's just is as easy as that the gimbal you order that when you buy your phantom as well you have other you know other stuff as well different different products out there but i just choose you know choose to buy this gimbal first because it's um i saw i thought it was a little bit attractive i thought it was um so i'm working with this one first but if i'm not satisfied with it even if i'm satisfied with it i'm still going to test the test the other ones out there to see which is the best you know so but there's something about you know i've started that i noticed with the gimbal as well it, probably maybe the position because um yeah maybe the position where 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 the cameras are sometimes sometimes um they get you know this the blades you know why it glides out there and the lights you know because remember this is a lot of light so anyway so that's for that's for another um um video and like I said, remember, when you mount your gimbal, don't turn it on without your GoPro sitting in there because you might just burn the discs, you know, uh, whatever, um, the this, you might just burn your, your, your gimbal. And this, this cable, this plastic, this little like plastic, is all for, um, yeah, don't pay attention to it if you don't, um, if you're not using your monitor or uh, your transmitter yet or your or your iOSD mini so just you know forget about that we'll work that on the next video anyway um I hope this my video has been um helpful um it's been knowledgeable like I said remember this uh, knowledge I got out of walking and flying my phantom I'm, I'm gonna upload my video um about the flights I've done with the phantom you know I did I did a lot of flights and so for you guys to see the maneuver and how I went you know to the little streets I flew over the island I went to the sea I I yeah the Mediterranean Sea so I went to the beach I I went to to the square so I just I did go to the difficult places that I I believe I should I should fly I should go I am um, check my skills on uh, by the way most of, um, it, I, I went there as well as sometimes as, as early as dawn or as late as uh, at night and in between so I just did those three weathers to see how how you know what's 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 the phantoms like and I have to say yeah it's been very successful and it was nice beside the crash I, I had uh, yeah I had about three crash so but I'm, I'm sure you guys can understand and um, and the reason why um, the reason why sometimes I go at night because Phantom calls a lot of attention for a lot of reason. You know, it uh, it makes a lot of noise. You know, it has this light. This you know the light that you know you know this light that glows around it. And like I said, when it flies, it suspends in the air. You know, it, it's it's fascinates a lot of people. So a lot of people, it's gonna call a lot of attention to yourself. So try to avoid that as much as you can. Basically, the reason why I try to avoid that because like I said, there's a there's not a lot of specific law at the moment guiding the same beside beside the basic one I just explained, which is stay away as far as you can from the airport, stay away from uh, from the city, and don't fly above 400 uh, meters from the ground. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's the, you know, that's the basic law. You know, besides that one, there's no other thing. They're, they're still back and forth, back and forth legislature just for this. Um, yeah, so uh, sometimes, you know, you might attract a lot of attention and the police might just come and depend they might it's not like anything is going to happen or they're going to find you or probably they might but depends on the mood of the police that's talking to you at that particular moment in time if they if they you know if they're not in their good mood or if they're in a bad mood or if they had a bad day they might just take it on you so how what what might happen they might just you know find you but basically i don't think they will you know, I don't think they will. They might actually just warn you or tell you to stay away from there because a lot of them haven't got a lot of knowledge about it as well. So they might, you know, they might be professional or they might not be depending on their mood. And if they are, if they are professional, they might just give you a warning and tell you to stay away from people or just, you know, tell you actually if you know what you're doing. Uh, you know, basically, I ho hopefully a lot of them will, you know, a lot of them will. 
um, out here. A lot of them have been. Um, I've not, you know, I've not, I've not met anyone, but doing my my filming with my regular camera and every other thing, you know, I've come in contact with a lot of them. You know, they just ask you if you got a permit. Um, if you don't, they might just they will just advise you, tell you what to do, where to go, and be careful and don't, you know. They, are, they, they will just be human with you because that's what they are and I'm, I'm, I've been lucky and I've been glad that's how it's been, that's how it's happened I hope it's going to stay that way and um, so yeah just started you know it calls a lot of attention so just try to get less attention as possible and stay away from people okay um, like I said I'm going to upload my video and I'm going to you know I'm going to make you know more videos on this phantom and explain my experience like I said and hope it to be helpful with you guys and I'm going to do this as well in Spanish because I live in Spain and so i'll try to do it in spanish my spanish is not the best but i think my spanish is understandable uh, you guys definitely my spanish you know people might definitely pick um one or two knowledge you know to work with as well so i don't think that's going to be a problem and i'm doing all those things because i'm going to film in thailand i'm going to make a documentary in thailand and i hope you guys will look forward to the documentary as well so you know <clears throat> while waiting for that documentary you can always check my other reports um on on most of the city, on uh, most of the EU city, I've gone to report on. I've gone to film. Uh, you know, you can always check my 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 photo, my my city, my urban city photography as well. You can check my website out is smallsmedia smallsmediahouse.com or smallsmediahouse.com in Spanish. Um, um, or you can always check my blog house as well. You know, it's smalls smalls school um, blogspot. Com or smallzooschoolblogspot.com. You can always check my videos out, you know, my, my city reports, my, uh, yeah. Subscribe to my channel, you know, I'll always uh, make sure I explain things that I found out. And um, But like I said, this is my first video. I hope you guys will understand it. And if you don't, if you want me to, you know, explain anything specific, just let me know, leave a comment, you know, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll try as much as I can in my free time to explain it to you, to you guys. And if I'm leaving anything out, let me know as well. Like I said, this is my first video. It's probably longer than it should be, you know. Um, I hope you guys will, will, you know, will pardon me for that. I'll try to make my next video as short as possible. Maybe I did put a lot of information in this one. It's too much information. I hope it's not, but I feel it is. But I just decided I want to put it out there. And I hope I'm contributing as well to the, you know, to the, to the Phantom family. And I hope you guys will appreciate my effort. And thank you very much. And like I said, have a nice day. And I look forward to making my next video. Ciao.